Lefty Trader here. So today I'm going to be going over a new coin I discovered and what I like about it and what I don't like about it and how to buy it and any like altcoins that are not, um, that aren't on like the normal like Coinbase, Crypto.com. And it's more high risk, but it's when you get into a coin like SHIB and that Dogelon, before it hits like crypto.com and whatnot, the only way you have to, you can get it is like on an exchange. And by the time it hits the exchange, those people that are making like millions, they've already made millions. So the, if you're in the market for high risk, this is how you go about it. Um, but yeah, this is where the real money is made. But um, this is not financial advice. This is just what um, I'm doing. I'm just sharing my opinions. Um, do your due diligence and never listen to anybody on the internet. Like, do your own research. This is your money and people out there don't care. So just little quick, little quick little disclaimer. But um, let's go over this. So the coin that I discovered, Wolverine. Um, what I do like about it, um, I mean, it's just a cool little knockoff. I mean, it's a Wolverine Shiba Inu, and they have cool artwork and everything. And the website, they redid the website, and it's a lot better than what it did look like. It was kind of tacky and kind of cheap looking, but now it's more professional, and it's more clear, like the roadmap and whatnot. It was really clunky before. You, didn't, you couldn't really tell where they were at uh, with everything. Um, I do like with this too that my ever since I've bought in, I keep accumulating more coins because whenever somebody buys or sells, it's kind of like, I think it's like Safe Moon where you get, you have to pay that tax for buying or selling and that's rewarded to the holders. So my, my collection of coins has just kept growing. 4% goes back to buybacks and 5% to marketing. Um, I mean, they're pretty open about everything. It has, I'm not, and if you know me, I'm not the most savviest with crypto, so I don't know quite what all this means, but um, they had an audit and everything uh, came out all right with that. I was reading about it on Reddit and uh, Twitter and whatnot. Uh, the devs have their liquidity locked for one year and when I bought in, it was just on Uniswap. Now you can buy it on multiple swaps, uh, Uniswap, ShibaSwap, SushiSwap, and Feg EX. Yeah, F-E-G-E-X. And um, one thing that I, hopefully I can help you guys with that I kind of struggled with and just had to learn for myself was uh, when I went to buy this on Uniswap, it, just, it would not work for me. And I couldn't figure out why. And I could have made, I could have doubled my money if I could have got in sooner. But um, yeah, just in, when it popped off about a week ago, I, in a matter of a couple hours, it was already too late. But I did figure it out and I'm gonna show you all what I did. So I pulled up Uniswap, connected my wallet. And if you've never connected a wallet before, it's pretty simple, you just push connect wallet. Um, I use my phone, so I, I can't really do it on the computer because I use Trust Wallet, but I can show you what I do. Um, you just push Connect Wallet, Wallet Connect, and then you select wh whatever wallet you use. Or these are some of the other main ones, Portis, Fortomatic, Coinbase Wallet. But um, if not, you do Wallet Connect, select your wallet, and follow the steps. After you've done that, um, I was using ETH or Ethereum. Um, you select however much you want. Well, you can't just put in one and then go from there. I did that and it just, whenever I uh, pushed to swap, nothing happened. It would just keep reloading, reloading, reloading. Um, this is one of the downsides. Um, I don't know if it's a liquidity issue or what, but I had to put my slippage tolerance when I bought up to, I think I did seven or 9%. So, and it wasn't too far off. So I did have to pay like a premium to get into it. I did make that back already. So I'm happy about that. And gas fees on this are ridiculous too. But again, I've made my money back on that too. Higher risk, higher rewards. 
Um, when it goes to selling as well, you have to do that too. When I went to sell, I kept trying to sell with anywhere from a 1% to 5% and it just kept reloading, reloading, reloading. If it's go, if you're gonna day trade this or just keep on trading it, you're not just gonna hold it. Um, you're, you, you gotta take into consideration that you will be, whenever you buy and sell it, you do have to put a higher slippage. Um, yesterday when I was just testing the waters, I'm like, hey, can I get away with like an eight or 9% slippage rate? It did load once for me, um, but when you put it anywhere from like the 10, 15 range, you most likely will not have to just keep, it, it won't keep reloading. You'll get right to the point and get on with the gas fees and uh, finalizing your transaction. But um, that's how to buy it as of right now. Hopefully we'll be getting on more platforms a little bit easier. Um, and like I said too, the gas fees are ridiculous. So be prepared for that. And just my, my thinking on putting money into a coin, if I do not have at least five to six X to what my gas fee is going to be, stay away from it. I mean, there's, or th that's, that, that's what I do just because like, you're it's gonna have to go up so much for you to make your gas fees back and to start making money and then gas fees to sell too so take that into consideration and like they they do have a game on the way merch on the way nfts and staking and this coin's relatively new too so i i'm rather optimistic about it um Long term, though, I do see some issues. The devs, we don't know who they are. Um, it sounds like they have a good team, but who knows? I mean, it could all be uh, it could all be BS. And another another thing I don't like, on top of not knowing who the devs are, is they do want to get in touch with disney which owns marvel and get in an x x-men franchise and 20th century fox which i mean money talks so and since they're putting um five percent back into marketing and whatnot do i think it's possible in the long run yeah i think they could accumulate enough to make that happen but at the same time i mean it's disney and marvel they might take a look at this and be like hey we didn't give you permission to use anything like the likeness of Wolverine. So I could see this plummeting super fast, but I'm trying to stay optimistic about it. And I do like it. I like the structure behind the coin and just watching or uh, accumulating coins while I'm at work and sleeping and going about my day. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. And I'm, I'm risking, risking some bones for it. So that's my take on, Wolverine and how to buy it. So uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any issues and what you guys think. Uh, peace out.